Good morning, oil traders. It is quite early. It's 7.51 a.m. Eastern Time on September 26th. It's a Tuesday. And uh, we are right now kind of right where we closed yesterday at about 52.20. Um, we saw a high of 52.42, I think. Um, 52.42, yep. And uh, a low as of earlier this morning around 6 a.m. at uh, 51.84. Um, so yesterday, as you know, sucked. I took a loss of over $700. Um, it was the first loss that I've taken in quite a while. Um, so that always kind of stings. Um, strategically, it made sense. Um, obviously, it wasn't uh, the best sale that I could have done yesterday, but um, you never know. You, you just never know. Um, so it is what it is. And uh, unfortunately, it looks like <laughs> I'm going to uh, kind of argue myself into taking another loss today. Um, if we end up opening near the highs of kind of 52.30, 52.40 plus, plus, we'll see, um, I will probably sell the balance of my long position that I've been holding forever, basically. Um, if you take a look at my uh, uh, trainingjournal.ca account, uh, you can see that position here. Uh, 278, 280 days um, old pretty much and uh, it's down to just a 10% stake on my portfolio. Um, yeah, and I think it's time to get out of it. Um, if we go higher after I get out of that, if I do get out of it, um, then I'll be looking to buy more shorts. Um, you know, call me stubborn or whatever, but uh, I'm going to stick to the plan for now. If I do manage to get out of that long position and we drop, then I'll be looking to purchase rather aggressively um, back into the long position, um, as uh, I do expect a fair bit of volatility. Um, if we do drop, basically the strategy is to look for a 2% or more profit on any given position, and if I'm unable to take at least that, um, then basically I hedge the uh, position uh, with the opposing stake. So basically, if we drop, um, I have a short position at 51.87 as of yesterday. If we drop to, let's say, um, the lower 51s, yeah, that represents a, a, you know, a decent enough profit on that position. If, however, we end up kind of settling no lower than 51.50, and I have been able to get out of um, that long position, it represents a good opportunity to repurchase the long um, as we might head back up to 52, for example. So that's kind of my thinking. Um, again, I'm, I've been tweaking my approach this past couple of weeks. Um, haven't really had an opportunity to put it into practice. So kind of, I need the volatility to allow me to do that. So maybe now that we're making new highs, um, I'll get that chance. Uh, yeah, so we'll see. But uh, we do expect volatility today. We've got API news after the close here in North America um, at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And then, of course, EIA news coming tomorrow at 11.30 a.m. So it should be interesting next couple days. Um, let me know what you guys think. Hit me up down below on the comments on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio, trades, charts, etc., etc. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys towards end of trading today at around 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Until then, good luck. Cheers.